Oh, look at this. All these cows in this paddock here are about to have little babies. Mia three. Hey, Mia. And this little one, this one is just being cooked. And he, yep, he is about 30 or 40 seconds old. Isn't that right, Mama? You know what else is born today? Reheld, let me tell you. G'day guys, Shane here. I'm gonna tell you today all about Reheld. It's a new app, long exposure app that you don't need a tripod for. Up to 30 seconds, handheld, crazy stuff. Reheld, why reheld? It's brought to you by the same guys who brought us Reflex and Reexpose. This is the new app, handheld, 30 seconds. Is it any good? Let's go and have a look. With all long exposure photos, it's obvious if you've been watching my channel for a while, you're going to want something that's moving and you're going to want something that's dead set still in the image. And that will really demonstrate the long exposure. The thing that's moving will kind of silk out like with the water. Silk out, is that even a term? You know what I mean, it's gonna make it silky smooth. The faster things move, the less shutter time you need, like the slower shutter speed you need. So you might only need to take a photo for like maybe five seconds. But when things are moving a bit slower, like clouds and that sort of stuff, you're going to want to go a bit longer than that. You might want to go, say, 30 seconds. But how are you going to do that without a tripod? All around the district where we are in north central Victoria, in fact, a lot of this region in Australia is watered with this irrigation water here. So these these channels going, well, pretty much everywhere, and they go for kilometres just to get water to the pasture to feed animals, to grow food and so forth. But the only real amount of water that we've got moving here is these sorts of things. So that's how I'm going to demonstrate this app. I know you're thinking right now, Shane, you can do this with live photos now. So why do we need another app to do this? And you can, but it's only going to give you like two or three seconds and that's it. You take a photo in the camera app, you go into the gallery, you go to live photo, go down to edit and just change it to a long exposure. And that works pretty well straight out of the gate, but you're restricted on time. And you're also thinking, Shane, you can also do this with Spectre. And Spectre is also a good app. I've done videos on that one before where it's a handheld long exposure app. The downside of that only gives you nine seconds is a maximum of nine seconds. This one gives you 30 and that's awesome. Before we take some more photos, oh, I thought he was gonna get up. Over here, he's still not up. Ah, oh, so close. So close, mate. Here we go, for, oh, nearly first steps. Nearly first steps, little one. I look here, the composition that I'm looking for here, I'm gonna use this weed that's in the front here and the water that's in the back here. I'll go ultra wide and I'll go for say 15 seconds and we'll see what sort of photo we can get. This is the composition that I was going for. You can see there, there's seven photos left and I'll, like, I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. The app itself is pretty self-explanatory. It's very automatic. It's very simple, which is what you really want with an iPhone. The composition that I'm going for here, where I was sitting down and squatting down on these rocks, the rocks were moving a lot and I'm bending over a fair bit and I'm very mindful about going into the water here. So this is not the ideal situation for this app. As you can see, the foreground is getting blurry. The background is getting blurry. It's just not working for what I wanted it to do. That's okay. What can we do about blur? Well, we make it less time, I guess. So let's go for five seconds and we'll give it another go. This is probably gonna work, possibly. Same rocks, same problem, still a little bit blurry. I'm gonna try a different composition here. I'm gonna move out, use the, use the telephoto lens and zoom in here. I think if I compress that foreground and the background a bit better, I might have a bit more luck here. Go with five seconds again. This is looking pretty good. I think this will work, but ideally in this situation here, I probably would have used a tripod for sure. I think when we've got subjects that are away in the foreground and something further back in the background, kind of struggle a little bit with handheld. But that's okay, you've got to pick your battles. If I had a tripod, I would absolutely put this on a tripod here. Although the wind is picking up, and this old dead thistle bush here is moving a little bit. So that probably contributed as well. 
I think with a handheld long exposure app like this, you just got to pick your battles. I'll go over the top of another one here and look down and take a photo with all three of these apps, the camera app, reheld app, handheld, reheld. God, these guys have got some funky names. And as well as the Spectre app, because I know that all of you are sitting here right now going, Shane, this is already able to do this with Spectre. Is it better? We'll put these on the computer. We'll go pixel peeping and we'll see if it's any better. But uh, the main difference is that Spectre can go to nine seconds, but this sucker can go to 30. And as long as you've got something reasonably good to like steady it on, steady your phone on, handheld, still steadying on like a, a metal like bar or a fence or a street post or something like that, it's going to work quite well. I think I've only got five photos left of this, so we'll see what else we can get. So what I've done, I've taken some photos, three photos, one live photo, one Spectre photo, and one reheld photo. All of exactly the same thing, same composition, maximum time that I can shoot with all of them. And these are the three photos. What do you think? I think they look pretty bloody good, all of them. But there's going to be subtle differences here. And I'm going to put it onto the computer screen because my eyes aren't that bloody good. And we'll blow it up and we'll do a bit of pixel peeping and see how good it actually is. Now, let's talk about this competition. Well, I've got to say, that's a pretty bloody easy app to use. It's very, very intuitive. You choose your lens, you choose your duration, Robert, your mother's brother, and you're good to go. About this competition, you've got 10 shots, and you will have seen them counting down on the app. That's the free version of this app. You're going to give it 10 shots for free to take the photo you're going to take. Upload them to Instagram, put this hashtag there, and these guys will pick a winner by Sunday. And what you're going to win is a lifetime subscription to this app. What is the cost of this app? For a yearly subscription, it's $2.99, three bucks, or a lifetime subscription for $7.99, eight bucks. So if you want it for free, enter the competition. I'm gonna do it, hope you guys do too. Let's have a look at these photos because from what I've seen on the back of the phone, this thing's killing it. It's really impressive. These are the three photos. The first one we're looking at here is the Spectre photo. So this is nine seconds. The way I've taken this photo is on those irrigation uh, little uh, levees there that you like. Um, above those, held this onto the metal rod, or the metal railing, I should say, and it steadied pretty well. So it's nice and sharp through all of these photos. That's pretty good. That's a nine second photo from the Spectre app. The next photo here is the live photo. We're going to go through these again individually. And the last photo here is the reheld app. Back to the Spectre app. It looks like there's more of a field of view here. And all of, all of these are using the ultra wide lens, which is interesting because you can even see the buggy that I drove over here on with the Spectre app, but the other two you can't. Isn't that odd? Anyway, look at the rocks. So the water, for, water first, the water you can see because it's gone for nine seconds, you can see a little bit of swirling there. It's nice and silky. It's not too bad at all. What I was interested in though, are the rocks over there on the right hand side and the left hand side. And they're a little bit blurry, a little bit. Let's go look at the live photo. And again, the water's swirly. It's only a three second photo this. And the rocks are definitely blurry. Let's look at the reheld photo now, 30 seconds. Less swirl in the water because it's over a longer period. But look at those rocks. They're all perfectly in focus. Every single thing in this frame is perfectly in focus. And they're all taken identically. This is pretty bloody impressive. Now what I'll do with all of these, you can see there by far the reheld is Everything's in focus. Handheld, this thing's bloody awesome. It's a very, very good alternative to lugging a tripod around as long as uh, you can steady it. I think you've got to choose your battles with this app, with any handheld app. Choose your battles where you're going to do this long exposure stuff. If you can brace yourself against a pole, a street post, a fence, anything like that, you're going to be miles ahead of the competition. This is a bloody good app. I highly recommend it, guys. Highly recommend it. You don't need to carry a tripod and you can get this thing sorted out with a long exposure photo up to 30 seconds. Don't know how he did that. Bloody good job, Salvo. Good job, buddy. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I'll catch you later.